Kanye West tweeted that he's running for president. Here's what he said. We must now realize the promise of America by trusting God, unifying our vision, and building our future. I am running for president of the United States. Hashtag 2020 vision. Okay, um... Kanye, you already sound like you're bullshitting. <laughs> like, it's supposed to be the case that if somebody's an outsider and they get involved in politics, it's like you get involved in politics specifically because you don't want to be a bullshitter. I'm going to read that one more time because it sounds exactly like a politician saying something and it means nothing. We must now realize the promise of America by trusting God. We must now realize the promise of America by trusting God. Does that mean you want everybody in the country to be religious? That's what it sounds like. The way we realize the promise of America is by trusting God. What if you don't believe in God? I don't believe in God. Or what if you're part of a different religion that doesn't believe in the same God you believe in, Kanye? What about that? What if you believe in multiple gods? I, if you're in public life or a secular country, you should probably leave the whole religion thing on the side, but he brings up the religion thing. Then he says, unifying our vision and building our future. How? Unifying our vision, how? So we're all supposed to believe the same thing? That's what unifying a vision means. I don't think that's a good thing. We should disagree. We should have debates. Unifying our vision and building our future. But how do we build a future? I mean, the classic right-left divide is, should we have more government focused on fixing the problems and creating a better society? Or should we have less government and more private enterprise? Like, how do you want to build our future? With more government, less government... Like, there's a lot that that entails, and I'm just, you know, scratching the surface here. So he already sounds like a politician, he already sounds like he's bullshitting. Now, before we continue, let me just say, is he going to run for president? Who knows? Who knows if he's actually going to do it? Why? Well, Kid Rock just did the stupid thing where he's like, I'm going to run for Senate, I'm going to run, I'm going to run, and everybody wrote articles about it, and everybody spoke about it nonstop. And then he didn't run, it was just some promotional nonsense. Kanye could easily do the same thing. You know, this is, oh, I'm running for president. Ah, oh, <laughs> kidding. But anyway, here's my new album. That's very possible, probably likely. Now, um, the reason why Elon Musk is here is because he responded and said, you have my full support. It was like instantaneous. It was like Kanye's like, I'm running for president. Elon Rangers, ah, right underneath. You have my full support. So they definitely, when they had this meeting, Kanye was like, hey, man, I'm going to run for president. And Elon's like, I was, I was, I was, yeah, that's good. <laughs> you like my impressions? I think they're pretty good. Anyway, um, yeah, stop. Just go away. All Both you guys, go away. I'm so... Elon Musk is like Oprah for awkward white dudes. I'm so sick of him. He's so obnoxious. And, and Kanye West is like... Here's the deal. Anybody who has to tell you they're a genius is not a genius. That's a general rule in life. You know who says that all the time? Trump. Is he a genius? Now, you could say Kanye's got amazing music. He's great in that respect. Maybe he's a musical genius, I guess. But when somebody... I'm a genius. I'm a genius. You can be sure they're not a genius. I don't think Bertrand Russell or Albert Einstein were going around saying, you know, I'm a genius. They didn't have to say it because everybody knew. Noam Chomsky isn't stunting on people saying, you know, I'm a genius, right? <laughs> That's not how it works. So anyway, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this video, but I simply do not care. Anyway, um, so... USA Today says the following. I love this. They say, There is no evidence West has a campaign organization, nor is there any indication he has filed papers with the Federal Election Commission just four months before the November 3rd election. So in other words, he tweeted that he ain't doing Dickie McGee's acts behind the scenes, which would indicate he's not really serious about it. It's more of a promotional stunt. Um, they go on to say, The filing deadlines for an independent presidential candidate in many states, have either passed or are coming up soon. Qualifying deadlines have passed in, get this, Texas, North Carolina, New York, Maine, New Mexico, and Indiana. The last deadlines are in early September, just two months away, and candidates have to get thousands of people to sign petitions in each state in order to get on the ballot. So, he's not going to be on the ballot in those states, so what's the point? And... Those are, there are a lot of states there that he's already not going to be on the ballot on. So what's the, what's the point? What's the point? Now people are speculating, oh, he's just trying to help Trump by taking some votes from Biden and he's helping his buddy Trump out. Do you really think that Kanye West is having some sort of, you know, scheming plan behind the scenes that's not readily apparent at face value? 
No. It, what he's doing is what he's doing. It's it's either I just want to generate as much press and attention as possible because I'm Kanye and I'm a narcissist and it'll help with my album sales. Or it's I actually want to run for president and try to win and he has no idea that he has no shot. <laughs> it's one or the other. I highly doubt it's a, some sort of chess, some sort of pro-Trump chess move, even though we all know he is generally pro-Trump. And we saw the whole fiasco with him in the uh, the Oval Office and stuff. And I like Trump because he's dragging energy and I'm also dragging energy. <laughs> That's one of the things that he said. Why not? Tw this is some, this is exactly like 2020 stuff that, I would expect. Every time I see a new crazy story in 2020, I'm always like, oh, what do you expect? I wouldn't be surprised even in the slightest if a super volcano erupted. Not even a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised even a little bit. They, it was a story the other day I saw. Apparently, I believe it was in Mongolia, the Black Plague reappeared because people were eating some sort of animal raw. Oh, God. So this is exactly like 2020. So what I say in response to it is, sure, why not? Go ahead, Kanye. Please, go right ahead and run. <laughs> It'll give me a lot of stuff to talk about. I honestly think we're at the point where even if Kanye ran, and even if Kanye took some votes from Biden, the numbers as such already have Biden winning by a comfortable margin. Even with Kanye jumping in and potentially stealing votes from Biden, even though I don't think that that would necessarily happen. But even if he did, it wouldn't be enough. I still think Biden would win as the polls exist right now. So... Yeah, I, this is one of those stories I didn't even want to talk about, but I had to talk about it because it's politically involved and it's got Kanye and, you know, my my beat is politics, so here we are. But um, it looks like, and also, just hold on here, if they do run, it would be a they. It would probably be Kanye and Elon Musk. I would say stranger things have happened, but no. Nothing stranger has ever happened. <laughs> this is as strange as it gets. Along with Trump already being president, along with a handful of other things, this is uh, right in line with this fantasy simulation world that we live in. 